Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review slash first impressions on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible collaboration. Um, I'm first going to start off with doing some swatches and then I'm going to go into how it performs on how I created this, you know, beautiful eye look I got on this smoky sultry like we're about to go on a date I look and then I will give you guys my final opinions on it which I have plenty of them so if you guys are interested in this first impressions review video just keep watching all right so I did my brows and I prepped my lids with my little Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. So let's get into it with this palette. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible palette. The packaging is very pretty. It's like that, like a jewelry box type thing. That's what it reminds me of, like a jewelry box with like the little, you know, little circular like jewels and stuff. It's very pretty. And then these are the colors in here. This is the palette itself. And of course it comes with the brush that it always comes with. Um, so my first impressions, to be honest, this is like one of the most boring palettes I think I've ever seen in my life. I just, the colors in here just aren't intriguing to me. The only one that really popped was this red shade Steve and then this OA shade shimmer color those were the honestly the only two that really popped for me um so that's like right off the rip but I mean you never know when I put it on my eyes and I apply it and I start blending everything out it might come together and I might love it you never know so Still gonna give this a good shot, a fair shot. So um, let's start with the swatches. So I'm just going to rub it in one time, like so, and then swatch it on my arm. I'm not gonna go in with, you know, multiple layers of it. I just wanna see how it swatches like on its own. So the first shade is bare. And it's like a pale, like yellow. It'd be a nice like shade to put over top of like your eye to like set it like with, like if you um, set your lids with like a concealer, it'd be good to set it with. The next shade is Moo. And this is more of like a satin shimmer. Now the next shade, Chai, which is more of like that orangey, like, traditional orangey like transition shade and those are the shades that i usually love to go off of now that one swatched not that great at all like not at all like there was barely any you barely see it there's barely any like pigment to it yeah no the fourth one is cindy which is like that pinky coral shade Now for my favorite shade so far in the palette, just looking at it, is Steve, which is that like red shade. Again, it's just not, not swatching the greatest. Then next with the Aura, which is another like shimmer satin shade. And then I'm going to go in with <laughs> the last shade in the bottom row, which is my angel, which is a very gold like shimmer. Now for the top row, I'm going to be going in with Bali. And that is like a very light pink shimmer shade. Mm. That one doesn't have like the pigmentation 
as Aura and My Angel. It's very, it's a very light, light shade. It's not really coming up on my hand. I'm, I'm a little bit more tan, but on more fair skin types, it's going to be very pretty. The next one I'm going to go in with is Bible. And that's like a, like charcoal, like brownish, very cool tone brown, like almost gray purple. The third shade is Mandala, Mandala. And that's like a very purpley, like pinky with like blue reflex. It's very monochrome, not monochromatic, like iridescent. It's very iridescent. It's it's a very pretty, like unique color. It reminds me of like Middle East and like Aladdin. And then the next one is Libra. And this one is like a bronze shimmer, which this one swatched beautiful. And then Jody. Which is again more of like a satin color. The next one is OA, which is another one that I said that I was excited about. Like, probably out of all of them, this one and Steve were the only two that I was really excited about. And this one also swatches beautifully. And this one has like, it's very similar to Jody, but this one has more. It's more glittery than Jody, but they're both kind of like that grayish, bluish, purpley. But the difference is that Jody has is more like in the silver side, and Q and Q A O A has like more pinks and like greens and like purpley blue glitters with it. And then the last but not least, the color Boy, which is like a dirt, <laughs> like a dirt, like mossy, like green, brown, I can say. Like, I don't even really know how to explain it. And again, it just, the swatches just don't, they're just not, it's, they're just not with it. The mattes are just not, the swatches for the mattes are, they're just very powdery. They're not as buttery and as glittery as I like them to be. But you can't define an eyeshadow palette on swatches because they could swipe the hat eyeshadow palettes that swatched horribly, but they were beautiful and blended beautifully on the eye. So let's not judge this off of the swatches. All right, so let's get into the eyeshadow. I, like I said before, I already primed my lids with my Urban Decay. Um, sorry, I'm, I already primed my lids with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going to just jump in to this very pale cream, like yellowy shade, Bare. And I'm going to just take a, this flawless concealer brush from e.l.f. and just set that all over the lid. Now, off the rip, it has some kickback, which is okay. Kickback don't bother me. And fallout don't bother me either because I always do my eyes first, so. And then the next color I'm going to go in with is, of course, the transition shade, which is Chai, which is, again, like that orangey shade. I think I'm going to mix it a little bit with this shade, and that is Cindy. And I'm just going to take a... What brush am I going to take? Just this fleshy, cokey blending brush. Oof, those colors. And I'm just going to start doing my transition shade. And again, I take that up almost all the way to my eyebrows. 
because you know the girl here got some hooded eyes i honestly i'm surprised i haven't really seen any body review this palette at all i mean there's nice pigmentation to it it's blending out beautifully And then I'm going to go in with the shade Steed. And I'm just going to first apply that on to the outer corner of my lid. And again, bringing it up above my crease area. And what I'm doing, I'm doing like tapping motions. So I'm pressing that pigment in like so, and I'm tapping it on above the crease like so, just so I can get that pigmentation that I want. And then I'll go in and start blending. Now that I got, you know, the pigmentation that I want in that outer corner, I'm just going to take the fluffy brush that it comes with, one of the Anastasia brushes, and I'm just going to start blending these edges out. Okay, so I'm just going to then go in with this, this Sephora blending brush and I'm going to go in with the original two transition shades that I use and try to blend the, these edges out a little bit. All right. And then I think I want to go in with Jody or OA, but I think Aurora would look very pretty with this. Hmm. You know what? I won't do nothing crazy. I'm going to go in with Aurora or Aura, Aura right here. And I'm going to just take this flat shader from Sephora and pick this up. And press this on to the lid and just do it on this side and I didn't spray my brush at all I just wanted to see how it would work without a sprayed brush and I'm just blending Steve and Aura in with each other. Make sure there's no harsh lines there between the two. And now I think I want to go in with that gold shade of my angels, like right on the inner part of my lid. And I'm just going to take this wet and wild, like really flat, like the finer shader brush. And I'm going to really pack that on. Now there's a lot of fallout with this shade. Like a lot. This one and Aura had quite a bit of fallout. But that's expected with 
with shimmer shades and I'm not wetting the brush so can't be too critical about that so next I'm actually going to take a little bit of mandala right here and I'm going to take this with my finger and pop this right in between that gold my angels and aura and i'm just going to pop that right in between those two colors oof lord jesus look at that blindness oh this is pretty actually i mean the shimmers are very 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 pretty and i only worked with a couple of like three of the mattes and they were so so but they were a little hard to blend especially that steve collie that one was was fairly difficult but you know <laughs> we made it work what do i want to do i think i want to just deepen the outer corner just a little bit so I'm going to go in with the shade Boy, Boy right here. And I'm just going to go in with just this Wet n Wild blending brush and tap into it just slightly. And just, just deepen it just a smidge. So I think I'm good as far as like the eyes. I'm going to quick pop in some lashes, do some mascara, finish my face, and then I will hit you with my thoughts. I will be right back in one second. Right, so I am back. I just beat my face. If you are wondering how I do my face i will leave some videos down below of me doing my face i use pretty much the same products the same steps as previous videos and also i will pop in my updated brow routine in there if you are interested so now to finish up the eye look i am going to go back in of course with the carly bible palette and i'm going to do my under eye and I'm just going to start off with the shade Steve. And I'm going to take just a Morphe M432 like flat definer brush here. And I'm going to just place that color underneath the lash line and just making sure I'm connecting it. I'm putting most of the product at the outer corner and making my way towards the inner and stopping right about there. And just doing the same on the other side. And then I'm going to take this Japanese shader brush right here and I'm going to go in with the shade chai and just blend that out and then i'm going to take a more fluffy brush and I'm just going to take this Ipsy L34 blending brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Candy and Bear and I'm just going to mix those two shades together and just sweep that underneath again making sure that everything is connected And then I'm going to go in with this small little elf 
concealer brush right here and I'm going to take the shade Bali and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. I love me a good inner corner and brow bone a highlight. And then for lashes, I'm going to be going in with the Sephora Collection, the Sephora Collection Lash Story Lashes in Pop Fizz Wink. And these are these very pretty, full, long, wispy lashes. And I'm going to do this off camera because it's probably going to take me a good 20 minutes to apply these. So I will be right back with some lashes and mascara. And for my lips today, I think I'm just going to go in with a little lip balm. I know this makeup is a little too, you know, glam for me to just go in with some lip balm, but... You know what? I don't care. I make up my own rules. So for my lip balm today, I'm going to be going on, on going with the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. And that's what this looks like. And... All right, so let's go move on to this review. So, the Carly Bible Palette. What do I think of it? All right, so literally, first impressions. Didn't like it, as we all know. Thought it was very boring. The color story here is kind of boring. The only colors that really intrigued me when, you know, first impressions, when I first saw it, was this shade Steve, OA, and then swatching, the matte swatched horribly. The matte swatched horribly. The um, satins and the glitters swatched beautifully, and they actually were beautifully, but the mattes just just wasn't it for me swatches wise so colors no swatches no so how did they perform um steve was a little hard to work with i think it was just that color you know transition shades their transition shades you know they worked they did their job um the glitters were nice i mean there was a lot of fallout but i don't mind that because I do my eyes first anyways, and then I'll go in with my base. And so, I mean, performance-wise, it did all right. I'll give it a, like a, a B performance-wise. Um, so like A in packaging, the packaging is beautiful. F in swatching, cause the matte swatched horrible. Um, first impressions-wise, F. Um, performance like I said I give it a B so I guess my overall grade for this would be like a C I'm gonna keep it 100 right now to be completely honest if it wasn't for the fact that I collect Anastasia palettes I probably would have never bought this palette like it didn't intrigue me I when I saw it on the shelf I wasn't like oh my gosh I need that palette it wasn't like that at all it was like damn I'm gonna have to spend money on this palette because I collect Anastasia palettes it really pained me to buy this palette and I'm not trying to knock on Carly Bible or anything because she's a very known YouTuber she's you know an OG and she's been doing this game doing this thing for quite a while but just in my opinion this just isn't my kind of palette so 
with that being said, do I recommend this palette for you guys? I mean, if you like more neutrals, like cool tone neutrals and like a more simpler color scheme, then 100% get this palette. If you like more warmer tones, you want a little bit more pizzazz, you know, a little bit more umph, like the Jackie Ayana palette, no, absolutely not. Don't get this palette. Um, personally for me, it's not my, not my cup of tea, but like I said, this, this palette is for somebody out there. So that is my, you know, personal thoughts, personal opinion. Again, please don't take what I'm saying offense. I'm not coming at Carly Bible at all. She's amazing. Like she's way beyond the YouTube than I am. Like she's probably never gonna see this review. Like I'm a, a nobody. I got like 30 something followers and she got like millions. So my opinion doesn't really matter to keep it 100. I just wanted to let you know the my loyal 38 people what let them know what I think about this palette you know get my review out you guys seem to like my review um and first impression videos so I just thought I'd do one in this palette yeah I mean I'm not hating the eye look it's pretty could I have achieved this with another palette that I love more? Yeah, I could have. But it is what it is. There are two shades in this palette that I, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with, especially during like New Year's Eve time. You'll see me pop this, bring this palette out during then. But other than that, I probably won't. I probably won't. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not it for me. I don't know what to say. It's just not it. So guys, if you enjoyed this review slash first impressions video with the Carly Bible, Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.